All right, I want to get the you know information. What? You know the stuff ready so I don't like make mistakes and names. Oh, I'm not, and... I'm not doing that. You're not gonna do that. Oh. So what'd you really think of it? I I wanted to like it, but uh, no. 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 Not really. No. Not really. Not, not even a little bit. I uh, like I said, the part where they're like all four running, their boobs were bouncing. No. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> The new year. First movie of 2024. Start off with a bang. It was dumb. <laughs> I'm not lying. I try I wanted to like it. Okay, so going into this movie. Okay, so I saw the first trailer for this movie and I was like, okay. And then I think there might have been I didn't watch anything else after that. Um you know, I, here's, here's the thing I found funny is that it was like it wasn't too long after all of a sudden they started or not, sorry, I'm sorry, Richard and Mary Parker. Like, dude, seriously, you just got that? The whole Ben Parker thing? So, I never I never picked up that the one actor was was playing Ben. And I don't think they even said, in the beginning of the no, movie. They said Ben, you know, Ben. And I don't remember him. I, I don't remember him saying him Ben. I don't remember the names. I don't remember their names being set off in the beginning until, like, when she was, like, you know, I, I, yeah. I don't know. I, I was just, like, and, I wasn't and, yeah. paying, I wasn't. I guess I wasn't paying attention to it, and then there's like, oh, there was like, oh, there was like a, like come to a party, and I was like, okay, it's a, it was a barbecue, and I was like, oh, it's a, it's a baby shower is what it is. Oh, and it's like, oh, her name's Mary, and then I was like, wait a minute, that's the uncle, and then, okay, <laughs> duh, duh, and as the audience, we're like, what's well, one especially for me, especially I figured out that that was. That was his mom. I was like, oh, that's Peter's mom. So his name's obviously going to be Peter. And they never, I don't think they ever dropped their last name. I don't think they, they ever used the they, name. They, did said, they, they said Parker. Did they say Parker? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I miss a lot of stuff. There was this guy talking in the theater and just kept on like reading the subtitles that weren't actually existing there. <laughs> uh, I think they were just super, super tired. Uh, like, they stayed up for something. He stayed up for that. <laughs> Worst movie of the year so, so far. <laughs> We so we got some, we got some couple movies coming out that are that might be a little, mm, mm. but no, I I feel like Madam Web could have been a good movie. I mean, I but they are they, they for will... some reason like they just went out of their way to not like like even like the thing like oh like even like the Spider Man suit. And obviously, it, it's it's. It wasn't really a Spider-Man suit because I don't think the eyes were really the spider well, eyes. They, they were the spider eyes, but you could actually see through them. But, but yeah, he didn't have he had openings because it's, it's like 2003. It's crude, you know. Where they they really emphasize on the technology, like you know, the surveillance starting to become a the government surveilling people and associated with the Amazing Spider-Man, uh, the or the animated TV show, Spider-Man the animated show. Yeah, because she she appeared in that I think the last season or like the last like. Oh, I know. That. They, they, in that one, they actually did like a Spider Verse. Well, yeah, they kind of did a Spider Verse thing where she was like, she's like in the web, of, she sits in the web of chair, the web of life chair. Uh, she binds all the threads or whatever, and she's like an old lady, and she's got goggles, and she's blind. I don't know if she was paralyzed, but I know there's another version of her in the comics where she's younger. She's got like a, she's kind of gives like a Carmen San Diego vibe kind of deal, and that's kind of what they went with them this version. But I don't remember if she was blind in that version too. She she probably was, and then when she's in the water, and then like, I was like, did she just get hit in the face? So that's what I. And then when they pulled her out of the water, and I look, oh, and you saw like her face, like she's blind. Yep, there we go. Now she's blind. That's how she gets blind. Well, okay, they, they and did, I'm fine with it. I was they, fine with they that. Did say in House Rise, so she, maybe she can kind of see, but you know, one of those like. I think she just. Funny. I think. Oh, I think. I think she still sees, but like. This movie came but out at two thousand. If this movie came out in two thousand three, like that's what I mean. Like, like the action sequences were kind of, uh, they were kind of iffy. Um, the one thing that everybody that I noticed, everybody said Ezekiel's lines did not match with his voice. There was a couple times where I swear to God, his mouth was not moving, and he was talking, and like his voice, his he he was the only one. His his voice, his voice acting, his acting in general was just flat, like. It was it was well, kind maybe, of bad. Maybe he was trying to do like a, some sort of like an accent that just wasn't able to pull it off. It is possible. It's it's very possible. Um, I did like his suit though. I thought the suit was actually pretty good. It is weird though. It is and, and it's hard to say like okay hey, so hey, you know what's funny? Mm -hmm. Um, you're gonna have, have Spider Man in a Spider Man movie, right? Yeah. <laughs> Right. You get the, what I was trying to do? Yeah. The dinosaurs, the yeah. dinosaurs work. Right? Yeah, God. 
I, I see. Here's here's the thing. So this movie, her she had a disease, a deformity that she wouldn't survive after a few years after she was born. Um, her mom died from the gunshot wound, obviously, but she survived because the venom healed her over time. Is what I what I picked up from that. And then of course he was cursed. So I, they didn't really explain that. So he's cursed what? No, uh, basically, see, probably see or see his death. his death, and he kept and and the funny thing is he keeps saying that they, they were the ones that did it, but it wasn't actually them; it was her. Oh, they had I a guess. part. They technically had a part in it. Well, yeah. Um. So and again, she could change things. So maybe like her intervening changed it where he died sooner than he was supposed to. You know, kind of thing. But. <laughs> But yeah, like it's well, I mean, like when they were like the referencing with Spider-Man, like the, you know, when the oh, unc- oh, Ben gets to be the fun uncle with none of the responsibilities, and she go- and she makes a she makes a joke about that, like yeah, he thinks so. And I was oh, I was like okay, right there, she has seen the future the, that he's gonna have to raise Peter. Well, okay, well then why would she not protect save Peter's parents? Oh, he can't. She can't save his parents because he becomes Spider-Man, and that's his journey. That's his canon event to become Spider-Man eventually. Or like that puts him on the path, so she can't do it. She's not going to do anything to protect his parents because he become because that leads U- Uncle Ben to take him, where he then becomes Spider Man. So yeah, you can't change he, that. He also has like a famous rice that he makes. Right, he has a famous rice. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, but and I, remember I was discussing this in the theater. We were sitting there waiting for the the non post credit scene that I knew it wasn't coming, but I just didn't want to get up. The ending shot of this movie, the ending of this movie, I felt like his ending was reshot. Was her acting was solid? I think for the most part, like I don't care. Well, let's, let's put it this. But way. then the ending, she's just like all of a sudden she's trying to do this like I'm cool. I can see the future, everything now, and it just came off as weird. Like you know how she was talking at the end there, it just came across as weird thing where she's like she's like looks out and she tells the girls all oh, like she sees what they're gonna become and what they're gonna do, but they just kind of take. I took it as them taking it as like oh cool we're gonna be just be successful people in our lives, you know, I, people I think, whatever. Uh, obviously, one of them is uh, um, Julia Carpenter. I think yep. that's the name is. Yep. I think the other one is supposed to be Silk. So the one because she was the one that was like bit by the same spider that Peter Parker was bit. Yeah. By so the the, the the other one the, I'm not sure. The blonde. The redhead. The sorry, the redhead. No, yeah, the redhead is Julia Carpenter. Is Julia Carpenter. Her name is Julia, but um, the, the other yeah, one, the other, the Hispanic one, one is is Silk. Silk. Is she is I I. And don't ask me the names. You I don't could know. ask me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure she's Silk. Anyways, and then the other one, I'm not sure who she's supposed to be. At. <sighs> she's got the spider legs. Yeah, but still, I. I don't know. Again, like I said, I, again, you can see there, oh, it's like a nod to Miles Morales, but no. no. Miles Morales, you know. Well, no. The one thing that bothered me about this movie was every time they seemed to, like, make a mention of Peter Parker, there was, like, they did, like, the name reveal, right? Well, what's his name? His name, Pop. And then she relives it because she, she was experiencing the deja vu or the premonitions of, of going back and see, seeing, basically seeing, she thought she was living through it, but she was just seeing it kind of thing. That's kind of how it works. But anyways... Um, sucked. The ending was stupid. I I hated it. You know the like you you mentioned like it was cheesy. Like it was a bit too much cheese for you. Well, like, like they're cause, standing cause, in the web the and she's well, like, no, 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 because you see the shot in the trailer. I said, I think I've only seen like the trailer the one time. It must have been the second trailer because well, I don't remember that no, shot. No, because they were basically because she wasn't in it. It was just the three you know spider women up on the rooftops. You know, kind of looking all like you know my holier than thou. Oh right! But then they added her, and it's like, yeah, I, her suit looked bad. In the comic or the cartoon, she had like, like a red red dress with like webbing on it. Yeah, it was a red. It was a red. Well, so well, that, hers wasn't a dress, but hers was like a full, you know. Well, yeah, she has a full like her and the the young version of Madame Web. It's a full red suit with white, like light white web threading for, and everything. And then she's got the red. She got the red visor. And then the older version is like a black dress, black red dress with white spider. But then she has like the, she has like red goggle or whatever. And then her hair is like tied up in a bun or some shit like that. So I was, I was completely fine with it, but the costume just, it just looked like it was a last minute addition. Like it was just like, here's the suit. They didn't do any kind of CG touch up to make it actually look cool. When they were like, I feel like when she was looking out the window, like I forget, like it, it would have been better if she had made like, oh, everything's going to be just fine. And then she, which, what's the line? She makes the line for Spider-Man, like whatever future holds kind of crap. I thought it would have been better if when she had her look out to the city, then like you see like vision 
where she's like seeing the future, but you see like it looks like Spider Man swinging through the city. Well, you get, and maybe even hear like a woo, like him, like I don't know, but just like a reference, like she's like everything's gonna be okay because she sees the future and she sees that Spider Man's there. Yeah, you could easily just have it like you know like. Not a person like a from the distance, and you're just like, you. oh my god, that's Spider-Man. Hey, you see something like swinging, but you don't have to do like any sort of... Zoom in on it. You well, know, no, like a... basically you don't have to do it that way. You can like, kind of keep the costume vague. You know, you well, know. you have the costume very vague, but you can see that it's red and blue. And then it just cuts. Well, basically all you really need is to see someone swinging. Well, yeah. Red, I'm right? just, well, I'm just saying like a, like a, the color palette would be... You can tell it's a red and blue color palette. So you're like, yeah, that's Spider-Man. To bring Silk in for the storyline of Silk getting bitten by the same spider would make sense because she was around. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I get why they did three. I understand, you know, but I think the story would have been tighter if they had just focused on one. I just, I just feel like, and as a result of it being kind of a weird, like, we, it's a Spider-Man movie. Well, I don't, but we're gonna mention him a little bit because well, the thing is, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna say this that they couldn't mention him, but does they, you know, they couldn't have the Tom Holland Spider-Man because that's why just, not? Because he's associated with the MCU. Doesn't matter. It does. Sony owns the rights to it. Marvel so, licenses it from them. Sony, no, here's the thing. Sony wants to make their own spy, you know, their their Spider Verse, if you will. Right. I, I, I think they probably would be better to focus on like um, Venom. No, uh, Miles Morales bringing him into the you know that we he's their Spider Man. And see, that would have been the smarter thing for them to do, but I think they didn't do that because of the of the, the Spider Verse movies, right? Well, actually, I, still, I, I did I, read something that they said that this movie is actually not even part of their start their Sony verse. It's just it's just its own thing because it's that bad. Because even then, we're like they even they even were like, yeah, this is not gonna be good. But it could have been good. It could have been really good. And I'm giving it a two. He's giving it a two. I, 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 I don't know. I can't even rate this movie because I was like, I was, I was like you said, I was, I, I, I thought it was a fun movie. It was a, was it bad? Yeah. So, like as the dial, Ezekiel's dialogue was terrible. Like he was not believable as a character. I felt like having him technically in a spider suit running around like that. It's kind of weird, but you could easily have tied it in and say, oh, that's why they didn't trust Spider-Man right away because you had this guy running around like 15 years prior where they could have made it good, where they could have tied it into, or even tied it into just a generic Spider-Man or even show up in Venom or even show up like in Secret Wars or some shit. I do know, supposedly uh, Venom 3 is supposed to be out this year. This year? Yep. I don't, I don't think they've, I don't think there's an, a, I want to recommend this movie. See it if you want to. If, if you, if you want to just sit down the visual, I thought the visuals of her like, like being able to be in three different places at once because oh, in this this version I can save, I'll just save her. I thought that was, the visuals were good, you know, how her powers kind of worked was kind of cool, but I just felt like I felt like 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 she went to Peru from New York and then she was back pretty damn soon, and then just like oh, you know, I, it, it it felt like it felt like. It felt like the movie was going a good direction and then they rushed it and they skipped a lot of like her, like, oh, she just showed up and she just could use her powers. She just was able to do it. She was able to just see the future and be like, yep, do this, well, do that. Maybe she's like, hmm, in the future, let me see if I can see that the future. They were all bad. I'm, I'm sure they, probably, they were all I, bad. I, I, they don't were, they, I don't know if they could necessarily go like, you know, full. Nothing, woman. nothing against cosplayers, but I, but like, that's what it reminded me. It reminded me of like a, a first time cosplayer. Let's That's way. what those suits reminded Co- me. Cosplayers can do it better. Well, that well, obviously they do, but I mean, like uh, somebody who's a first time making their first cosplay costume and going to a convention. That's what those suits reminded me of. It reminded me of somebody being their first Comic Con, buying outfits. Oh, buying... Hello. Hi, this is Sony Entertainment, and we would like to let you know that we don't appreciate you talking All right, cool. Um, <laughs> I just happen to be out and out and about with my friend. We'll uh. Be there uh, soon. All right. All right. Thank you very much. So, yeah, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we Apologies. He's tired. <laughs> apologies for uh, not getting uh, a couple movie reviews out for last year because we had... I, we did the review for the um, Iron, Iron Claw. Claw and...
and the audio was not there. I, I love the movie. We loved it. Very, it was a very depressing movie. Yes, very depressing. Very depressing. And even more depressing when you find out like other things that they did. Did they cut out? Because of time and just, you know, you, you can only have someone take their life so many times in the same movie. Uh, we'll leave it at that. The, it, it, was, I, it was a really depressing review for us to do because it, it, it resonates. Yeah. It resonated with both of us through our lives. Like, it was really a year. Yeah, it was but really. Like, but, but did that yeah. did that happen? I mean, you mentioned it all the product placements, like oh, Blockbuster, yeah. of course. Well, yeah, no, it wasn't like. Uh, I was like, really? It, it slap thrust, slapping all their early 2000 songs. Britney Spears. Uh, the, the, the Pepsi, oh yeah, you take a beer, and like the Pepsi, you could see the Pepsi like right in her hand, and like she wasn't covering, you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you can't cover that up. Oh, yeah, the wait. Pepsi logo was the yeah. ending of the movie. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh. Yeah, hey, if you have any uh, Century the or Cinemark theaters, make sure you get out and get your Slimer buckets and cups. Yep. And uh, what's the next movie? <sighs> yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I do still kind of want to see the Bob Marley biopic fun movie go see if it's actually i'm sure it's better than madam web but i could be wrong well the, the only movie that i'm looking forward to this year and it's not deadpool is godzilla oh um gosh we don't want to offend anyone you guys say gosh and you gosh want, yes we don't oh. want to offend anybody oh gosh what if, what if people don't believe in you gosh like, okay. oh, <laughs> oh my god oh, i'm triggered you said oh Gamer. my god okay we're gonna see that now you just said it right there again yeah. trigger i'm gonna say it right there godzilla <laughs> suck it up